Bears and Lions. Bears are three and a half point favorites in this game in Detroit. 41 and a half is the total, according to BetMGM, the presenting sponsor of Best on the Board. I mean, I, I'm not really sure what to make of this game. I'm surprised the Bears are this big a favorite. I'm not surprised they're favorites, but three and a half feels a little heavy. Looks like Andy Dalton's going to get the start for the Bears. Looks like Tim Boyle is going to get another start for the Lions. The NFL has already put up this hilarious promotional image on Twitter for this game <laughs> where it's like, you know, they in, in their mind's eye, it's like Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, except it's Andy Dalton and Tim Boyle in the spots. It's just, it's great. It's exactly what this game should be. I don't really know what to make of this one. What are you thinking about this game? Yeah, unfortunately, I can speak with a little bit of authority because I just did watch the Lions for three hours and 15 minutes on Sunday <laughs> when they were in Cleveland. Um, you're <laughs> counting the exact time. <laughs> Tim Boyle gives them no shot. Michael, he, he just really doesn't. I mean, they, they want to run, right? Mm-hmm. And they can mm-hmm. he can move a little bit to get the ball to Hawkinson. But, um, you know, they're not going to put him in any positions to fail. Or, or many because he's going to uh, if he is. He, he just is. They're a bad team. They're reeling. Obviously, they haven't won a game. Uh, you know, the Bears are coming off two close, disappointing losses. Both teams just played the Steelers close, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the Lions tied. The Bears lose. But visually, the Bears is much better. The Bears have to be sick about the way the game went the other day. And, and it's a talent drop-off from Fields to Dalton. But operationally, what what is the drop off against this yeah. Lions defense? So, um, first of all, I, I'm shocked it's not five and a half or six. <laughs> and although that 41, I think I saw 41. I'm showing 41 and a half on the screen now. Although you tempted to take the under because I just don't think the Lions will score. I mean, you do have ideal weather conditions inside mm-hmm. Ford Field, right? And and I do think David Montgomery, Darnell Mooney, I think they could score a little bit. So. You know, I just couldn't take the Lions under any circumstances. I don't love the Bears, and especially with that hook, I could see the Bears being the Bears and winning by a late field goal. But after seeing Tim Boyle, there is no way that I would put one dime of my money on the Detroit Lions this Thursday. No way. Yeah, if I'm going to take a side, it's definitely going to be the Bears. And I think the Bears are in play for survivor pools as well. Obviously, I agree. Probably, most people who are alive in their survivor pools probably have the Bears as a selection. And so they're definitely in play in that way. I don't know if I love a side enough to go with uh, to go with the Bears in this one. But one thing I did write down was over 41 and a half. This is a, a low total no matter what the offenses are. And you hit the nail on the head when you talk about the difference between Justin Fields and Andy Dalton, obviously a talent drop off yeah. operationally, really not much. And you could even maybe make a case. I wouldn't make the case, but I think a case, a compelling case could be made that there's a tiny bit of an upgrade operationally just because of the steady veteran hand that Andy Dalton provides. So there is something to that. I, I think at play here, I like the props. I look at some of the props. You mentioned yeah. Darnell Mooney. I mean, Allen Robinson missed last week's game for the Bears because of a hamstring injury. This is a quick turnaround being on Thursday. Darnell Mooney had 16 targets in that game against the <laughs> Ravens. Like 16, nearly 50% of the Bears target share. The props aren't out yet on BetMGM, but once they are, I will be taking a good long look at his props and David Montgomery props because the Bears offense really does run entirely through those two guys. Yeah, no, I think those are good calls. And I think, Michael, as we record this, right, 48 hours or more even from the start of the first game cd lamb has an injury issue alvin Kamara has an injury issue alan robinson as you mentioned we can probably assume on robinson and Kamara they're not going to play on on those quick turnarounds with lamb it's concussion protocol some guys it's two days some guys it's two weeks right Mm -hmm. but i agree Uh, i think if you look at the usage last week um montgomery is going to get the ball a lot here in this game and props not over on him and if you're a tease player and man it's hard because it's hard enough to win one bet let alone two (laughs) or three Start your day. Open up with the Bears. <laughs> Trust the Lions to be the Lions. Play some Mooney props. Play some Montgomery props and ride it out. I just, like I said, I, I was actually, I'm down to two survivors, and that's maybe one or two more than most people are. It's been yeah. crazy the last three or four weeks. But mm-hmm. just taking a quick glance this morning as we were getting set up here and, and giving it a look, I strongly lean uh, towards the Bears. And, and you know what? Just get it over with, right? You don't have to sweat it the rest of the week, <laughs> right. and you're either out and you're done, or, or, or game one, you know, 72 hours ahead of where you're normally picking, you win and you celebrate. Total narrative here. Total narrative street. This is not the way you really want to be making a pick. Let me just put it out there, though. After this week, the Lions remaining schedule, home for the Vikings at Denver, home for the Cardinals at Atlanta at Seattle, home for the Packers. If you're on the Lions, you know you're 0-9-1. You know you're not a good team. You might not say it in front of a camera. You know it's true. 
don't you think of this game at home on Thanksgiving against the Bears as probably your best chance to get a win? Yeah, and, and they have been close, right? They were close again last week. Uh, they were getting killed and the Browns left the door open. They just couldn't slam it shut. They obviously tied and missed a 47-yard field goal in overtime in Pittsburgh just two weeks ago to win. And, and you look at a reeling Bears team. But I think the Bears are a good run defense. I think the Bears, like I said, visually have, have played better. And Fields has been a big part of that. Mm-hmm. But – I'll take – and I, I like TJ Hawkinson. I like DeAndre Swift. I'll take the Bears run defense and the Bears skill group every day of the week, holiday or not, desperate or not, <laughs> against what's left of that Lions skill group. I mean, they have nothing on the outside. Yeah. They, they, they no. just don't. And if, you, and if you can't run it consistently to help Tim Boyle, then it's going to be a lot of punts, and it's eventually going to be that big mistake uh, that he's, he's bound to make. I mean, the Browns picked him off twice. And you know, had a chances a couple other times. Mm-hmm. I thought the the operation was good in terms of keep him out of bad spots, get rid of the ball quickly. I, the Browns are a really good pass rush team. They only had six pressures, but a lot of it because the Lions didn't even try to throw, or when they did, it was mm-hmm. quick screen, it was one step and get rid of it. And so that's why I don't love the over. Um, but but again, like if you think the defense can score, <laughs> it's hard. And I think the Bears defense can. I think both defenses can, really. Yeah, um, then, then it's hard to sit here and say, I'm going to spend my Thanksgiving sweating an under 41 or 41 in that. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly the way I think of as right. uh, kicking off Thanksgiving Day, right, uh, by sweating an under between two of the worst teams in the NFL, both starting their backup quarterbacks. 